everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is April, I go by Ruby Rouge here on the YouTubes. And thank you so much for stopping by. This is the Tiny Pan Project Pan. It is a fantastic ladies project pan. And today I am going to give you an update. This is the Huda Mob Obsessions palette. And this is the Huda Mob Obsessions palette after eight months of use. And this palette is really starting to look well loved. I missed the update for last month, um, unfortunately, but we're going to do it all today. I mean, it is starting to look super loved. I did do tally marks again for this month and I had 40 new uses. My goal for each month is actually 25, so I was a little short of that, um, has about 20 uses per month. I am still progressing pretty well. I have no idea if I'm going to be able to finish this palette by the end of this year um, at this speed especially. There are a couple of shadows that I should probably pick up the pace on. Um, Hopefully I can start working on those a little more diligently. But anyways, I mean, I did realize along the way that these shadows aren't actually tiny pans. They're actually 0 0.039 ounce shadows. And for comparison, a MAC single is 0 0.05. So yeah, they're not tiny. Um, it interests me and a few others from the comments last update that the shimmers are actually harder to pan and hit pan on than the mattes in this palette and they're good mattes um, they aren't super powdery and there's not a lot of kick up and they have a moderate to high level of pigmentation so i don't know i have a couple theories and we'll talk about one of them later uh starting at the top shade one i am at 13 uses with shade one in this project i used it twice last month and i may have expanded pan a little bit but it's not very noticeable Shade 2, I use this shade two times, um, 14 total uses in the project. The two times that I did use this, though, were for an all-over eye look with a brush, so pan really expanded pretty dramatically. Um, one of my theories as to why the shimmers are hitting pan, aren't hitting pan is because they're kind of soft, and I feel like every time you use them with your finger, you're kind of repressing them into the bottom of the palette. So I think that um, this two times kind of illustrates that, that there's just a very thin layer of product in there. So I'm not hitting pan, but it's getting very, very thin. Shade 3. I used this eight more times for 31 uses in this project. This was a well-loved palette before the project ever began. Um, I didn't have any pans, but I reached for this quite a bit already, especially in this shade. This is one I just reach for pretty much every time I use this palette. I can't believe there's still no pan here. Can't believe it. Shade four, um, I only used two times. I'm up to 10 times in this project, but I don't know why I never reached for this one. It's really, really pretty and I like it. So it's definitely one that I'm gonna have to step up my usage if I actually plan on finishing it. And then shade five, I used eight more times and I'm now at 30 uses for the project. So last update, I mentioned that I was gonna be hitting pan soon and I did. There's a nice little like blown out spot in there. I look for the rest of that little edge to come out in a couple more uses. This is one of the shades I am pretty sure I can finish this year. It's just so easy to use. Shade six, I used three more times for a total of 15 times in this project. I'm getting too slow with this shadow and it's one I need to step up the pace with. This is probably my favorite shadow in the whole palette, actually. Um, it's definitely my favorite matte, I think. And I find myself sometimes um, getting ready to reach for this one and then not using it because I'm like, well, let me, this one's so easy. Let me use one of these that I don't like as much. Let me use one of these that are a little more challenging. Um, so I, I can definitely finish this fast once I get started on it just because I, I love it. Or once, I think once these other distractions are out of the way, then I'll finish that one up. Shade 7, I used only one more time. I'm at 22 uses for this project. It did visibly expand the pan that one more time though, so that's cool. Shade 8, I used 12 times. I'm up to 28 uses for this project. And I've been traveling a lot in the last couple months and I always took this palette. So for that reason, I always have these like light cream shades and I like to save them for last or save them only for when I'm traveling so that I always have them around. Um, 
but you know, more exciting than my particular way of using a palette is that I have new pan. Um, that's two new pans for the month. That's really, really cool. And then lastly, I have um, shade nine. I used one more time and I'm up to 20 for the shadow. I also extended pan again, just a little bit. I really would like to take some time and frank in a little bit with some of these shades before the end of the year. I, I hope I can get around to it. Um, have a little play day or a little play a couple hours, but even if I just make some some maybe like little tiny uh, Franken shadows would be fun. I did photograph a few more looks. I played around with this palette in my Natasha Denona Piniha shade that's in my pan as eyeshadows. Um, I don't remember what inspired me to do that, but I really like the way the colors work together. It was kind of an unexpected combo win for me. Um, and I also played a little bit with this palette and my other pan those eyeshadows pick, which was from the Juvia's Place Juice palette, which I actually have right here. This was in the shade Tarp. Um, this is just another pretty easy combo pick. I like this shade because depending on what you do with it, it can either be like more of a clear neutral, it can be more pink, or it can be more purple. So it worked, it paired well with this palette. And yes, that's the update on the on the palette. And I'm gonna leave you with my lookbook. And you know, some random music is always that every month you get to hear a little bit more of and a little bit more of. And isn't that just exciting? <laughs> One day you may get to hear the whole song. Um, thanks everyone for stopping by and checking out my progress on the Huda Mobs Obsession palette. And I really hope I get to see you soon in the next one. Bye!